The Supreme Court ruled Texas can, for now, enforce a new law allowing state and local police to arrest migrants. The conservative majority court rejected an emergency request by the Biden administration. The government claimed states have no authority to legislate on immigration and that it's an issue the federal government has sole authority over. The court ruled the law can go into effect while litigation continues in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, but could still be blocked at a later date. The majority did not explain its reasoning, but one of the conservative justices, Amy Coney Barrett, wrote separately to note that an appeals court has yet to weigh in on the issue. If a decision does not issue soon, the applicants may return to this court, she wrote. Her opinion was joined by Justice Brett Kavanaugh. The court's three liberal justices dissented. The court gives a green light to a law that will upend the longstanding federal state balance of power and sow chaos, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote. Justices Elena Kagan and Katanji Brown Jackson also objected to the decision. The Texas law allows police to arrest migrants who illegally cross the border from Mexico and empower state judges to order deportations. The dispute is the latest clash between the Biden administration and Texas leadership over immigration enforcement on the U.S.-Mexico border. A federal judge blocked the law after the Biden administration sued, but the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals said in a brief order it could go into effect March 10th if the Supreme Court declined to intervene. The appeals court has not yet decided whether to grant the federal government's request to block the law. The high court repeatedly blocked the law from taking effect while it considered the federal government's request. Tuesday's ruling wipes away previous orders.